Well, uh, you're full. It's time for Thanksgiving leftovers now, but with a twist. How can you turn last night's dinner in today's pre-dinner cocktail? Here to show us how is Jonathan Pogash, mixologist and president of the Cocktail Guru. Nice to see you this morning, Good Jonathan. to see you both. So what's the deal? We can actually take our old food and other items from last night, make Absolutely. it into a drink? Absolutely. That's exactly what I did. So I brought my turkey from yesterday, and I had some extra turkey fat. Uh -huh. So I threw it inside a bottle of this uh, tap rye whiskey. This is a Canadian rye whiskey. Put it in the fridge overnight. The fat separates. I strain it out. I'm going to use it in a cocktail. Wow. All right, so the first cocktail we're making here. This is the Wampanoag Fizz, I call it. Wampanoag. Wampanoag. So we, that's we rye with a little turkey it's, fat. It's tap rye whiskey, Yep. Yeah. This is some fresh grapefruit juice. I'm also going to use my pumpkin puree left over. <laughs> it's like a smoothie. It is. It is like a smoothie. This is a, a nice Italian vanilla syrup called Fabri. I love saying it. Fabri, Fabri. Are you like the hit at all of the, uh, at all of the holiday pretty gatherings? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. So I'm going to give it a shake. You know what's weird? If I go to a bar and they're making something with some ingredients like cranberries or pumpkin, I think, oh, that's really cool. But when I think of it as last night's leftovers, it kind of creeps me out. It's a little <laughs> gross somewhat, but um, what we do is we try to make, um, you know, lemons, <laughs> lemonade out of lemons is what they say, right? <laughs> I know it makes perfect sense. So I mean, we, I'm we, adding we, some Prosecco, Rafino Prosecco. And we've got to be honest, Rick and I have already had four of those this morning. And <laughs> you, it, uh, taste, <laughs> you guys are, are doing quite well for having four. That's I've got right. some turkey and grapefruit on a pick here as my garnish. That I love is that. Amazing. Isn't that great? All right, your banana cranberry milk punch. That's right. So leftovers I'm using here are my cranberry sauce. I'm going to put a nice, this is like the jellied cranberry sauce, which it always has to be. Of course. Uh, evaporated milk. Okay. Throw that in there. And this is a rum. This is a banana rum. Blue Chair Bay banana rum. This That's... is Kenny Chesney's rum, believe huh. it or not. He's going on tour in 2015, so you have to check out to get some tickets. <laughs> yeah. One of my faves, guys. I'm going to give it a shake. And I'm going to throw it into the my cranberry. glass. It's like a vodka cranberry. Right. It, it, yeah, well. It's a rum. It's a rum cranberry. Beautiful. Hey, real quick, Jonathan, show us the mocktail over here. Absolutely. Yes, the, the mocktail has um, some evaporated milk, some fresh cranberries, and some soda water, and a nice little uh, flag there with an umbrella. I've got a uh, sangria type of thing with a Pinot Noir from Black Box, Carpano Antica Sweet Vermouth. This I call the this Thanksgiving beautiful. dinner table debate. Well, are you on Twitter? I am what at, is it? at the Cocktail Guru and Instagram and on the web. So we all, we'll there put all go. these recipes up on foxandfriends.com, by the way. And thank you for making a virgin yes, version of this. No really problem. Appreciate it. All right.